I purchased two 2021 SeaDoo GTX 130 Pros. These are the rental models and they've been manufactured with limited features for beginning riders. One of these limitations is the tilt steering is locked in the lowest position so that renters are encouraged to ride sitting down. In the Salish Sea, where I ride, there's rarely flat and calm waters. I ride almost exclusively in a standing position, and I hesitated to buy these used boats with their locked down steering columns. I saw the parts looked identical to my Fish Pro, so I cross-referenced the part numbers, and when I was convinced I could convert these GTXs to tilt steering, I bought both the watercraft. I was right. With a few inexpensive parts, I converted them to tilt steering. These are the steps for converting them to tilt steering. The tools I use uh, include an 8mm and a 10mm socket. I just use a driver tip. You can use a 5 16 uh, in lieu of the 8. I use a dental pick for all the little rubber, rubber parts and reaching into hard to reach places for things that you don't want to destroy. This right angle drive you can buy on Amazon. They're, they're pretty much, uh, they don't have a lot of strength, but they're very useful for, in particular, this job. I have a bag of these fittings, and you can see I just gang them up to use for whatever length I need. And then I use an actual uh, torque wrench for setting the select, select bolts, uh, critical bolts. Um, a spudge tool like this for removing computer screens and stuff, you'll find really good for not destroying your plastic when you pull this boat apart. Remove the two screws that hold the front cowling on. The cowling just hinges up. Remove the 10 millimeter lag bolt underneath the cowling. Remove the lag bolt that holds the top of the mirror on. The top of the mirror cover was stuck pretty good. There are three tabs that fit into three slots and I found that using uh, a little bit of grease and spraying inside the, the mirror cover I could get the grease where I needed it and loosen those tabs up. Here you can see those three tabs. Using your spudge tool pop the little tabs that hold the trim onto the hatch. I found that sticking a rag underneath on one side helps keep it from collapsing back down while you're working on the other. That aftmost tab is the most difficult to reach. You can see right there that you have to reach pretty far up inside of there to uh, to access that tab. The second side is much the same as the first. Once that piece of trim is loose it's just going to stay there until we remove parts of the steering assembly itself that will enable us to get that piece of trim off of there. For the time being it'll just stay put. Using your spudge tool work it around the bottom of that steering cover. That piece of plastic is a lot more stiff on these GTX Pros than they are on the Fish Pro. But once you get it, it'll pop right off of there. Remove the 10 millimeter nut that holds on the handle grips and slide the handle grips off of the handlebars. Remove the 8mm bolts that hold on the handlebar trim. Remove the handlebar trim. On the left keypad, remove the electronics after you remove the trim. 
These can simply be unplugged and removed. Using the spudge tool, release the tabs that hold on the steering trim. This is perhaps the most difficult piece of trim to remove. There are tabs on the bottom, tabs in the front, but the ones down at the very bottom are the most difficult to figure out. Here are the eight tabs that hold on the steering. Note the ones at the very bottom. I torqued on this tab a little bit too much. You can see the white stress marks on it. The other one looks fine. At this point you have enough clearance to take that hatch trim, rotate it sideways, and lift it right off. This was impossible with all that other trim on. This is where that angled driver bit comes in handy. Remove the two 10 millimeter bolts that hold in the bushings at the fulcrum of the tilt release. On my boats, they're white nylon and they stand out really well against the black plastic. At this point the steering column is free. Remove the disabled release handle. Remove the hard plastic stoppers on the backs of the plastic springs. The adjustment handle I received has a different number than the one that I ordered. The one I ordered ended with 1996. The rubber washers are a different item. Insert the rubber stoppers behind the plastic springs. You'll need to do this on each side. The adjustment handle has tapered pins that snap inside the receiver holes. Give it a firm push to snap it into place. Drop the entire adjustment handle assembly into place. Reinstall the bushings and bolts that hold in the adjustment handle. At this point you have fully functional tilt steering. Now all that's left to do is reinstall everything you took off in order to make this happen. Reinstall the steering column trim. This piece of plastic snaps on much easier than it came off. Reinstall the electronics and switches underneath the left side of the handlebar trim. Reinstall the handlebar trim on both sides. There's only one way the electronics fit in, so try not to force anything. Reinstall the two 8mm lag bolts that hold in the trims. 
I finished installing lag bolts into plastic by hand so I don't strip out the plastic using the driver. Reinstall the handle grips on both sides. Torque the handle grip bolts to 21 foot-pounds. Reinstall the rubber dust covers. Reinstall the handlebar trim. Now that you can raise the handlebars, it's easy to reinstall the hatch trim. Make sure the handlebars are all the way up, drop it over, snap it into place. Reinstall the mirror lag bolts. Torque them to 21 foot-pounds. Slide the mirror covers back into position. And reinstall the fastener. Reinstall the lag bolt under the cowl. Reinstall the cowling trim. And finally, reinstall the last two bolts. And that's how to convert your GTX Pro fixed height steering to something usable in more aggressive riding conditions. I frequently change my steering height and riding style and these boats would not have been usable without this fix. I hope you found this helpful.